thank you so much for that feature from uh, Tabi Solima, who is uh, yeah, the DA uh, Students Organization's uh, chairperson out at UJ. Look, there's a range of issues happening out in um, our tertiary institutions. And uh, just a little word, you know, whether it's good or bad that we need to speak about, as long as it's honest, you know. And I think uh, as a country, the sooner we can make friends with this word called honesty in whatever sphere of departments of government, there's a lot that we can solve in a year. The moment we become honest with the problems that our young people are facing in fraternities of development, whether it be school, sports, or in communities, we need to start being honest as the people that are entrusted with servicing the nation as a whole. It's sad to hear that um, in institutions that are like, I mean, the UJ has got both awards for certain types of advancements that their students make. But it's sad to know that uh, at times the people that um, need it the most are the ones that are turned back the most. Let's change something about ourselves, South Africa. Right, so now um, you can always listen live on www.capsradio.co.za uh, to listen live to our show and to follow us on social media networks. It's at Caps Radio SA. Now, Wednesdays is career mode. My favorite part starts now. Project brought to you, brought to you guys by Jack. He's the person that I literally produces the content that we bring on career mode. Jack, how you doing? How's it, buddy? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, my man. I'm standing here today. We're looking at communications, but not as words. Communications as marketing, um, advertising, branding. What, what's going on? Well, like we do every Wednesday, we, we look at the industry from the outside and we bring in someone who is in that industry mm -hmm. and we ask them how to look at things mm -hmm. and what we should look out for exactly and how best we can find those opportunities out there fantastic stuff and uh, who are you rolling with who are you traveling with today today i am rolling with mpati tingo wow and uh, he's a, a brand specialist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he's going to talk to us about the industry of communications, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, when you look right. at it, right, writing an article mm -hmm. or sending an email, mm -hmm. producing a TV news channel, mm -hmm. talking to friends or colleagues mm -hmm. or clients in person or over the phone, they all have something in common. Yeah. And we brand that as yeah. communications, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. These days, we engage with people who convey messages. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about what specifically is being conveyed out there mm -hmm. and how we can have people invited to get involved in the industry. Okay, fantastic. Just taking from there, what is generally expected of us is that we receive communication is to buy into or support what is being communicated. And um, I think that's where branding also comes in and marketing. And uh, yeah, as you guys have heard from Jack, today's uh, guest is CEO of Zoned Enterprises, a company specializing in branding printing and supplies. He is the director and uh, goes by the name, well the name is Mr. Mpati Ingo. Mr. Mpati said, good day, how are you? Good afternoon, I'm very well and how are you? No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. And thank you so much for making the time to come and see us. Thank um, you. Yeah, fantastic. Now, I, I just want to start off with just uh, your background information in terms of, I understand that currently now your business is uh, obviously in branding. Um, did, what, what type of education did you get with this? Have you always been somebody who wants to go into brands? Or to take us a little bit of, in, in terms of your background. I have. So I grew up in the Free State in a town called Kronstadt. Okay. I did my trip there and I went to Pretoria, what was then called Pretoria Technicon. Mm -hmm. And I did a marketing degree there. I didn't complete it though. The okay. second year I dropped out. Yeah. Uh, I then started working here and then the last employment I had mm -hmm. was for Lancet Laboratories. And okay. this is where this is where I then got the interest to get into branding and marketing. Mm -hmm. um, this was back in two thousand and ten. Wow! Uh, and I, I've been self-employed since then. Wow! Okay, so you walked out of a job and you've been self-employed since. Yes. Now that's a that that, that, that is something that I know is going to open up a, a huge content pool in terms of what I want to talk about because careers. It's not just about what we're studying, but it's actually about how do we make a living out of whether you finish or not. I like the fact that you were, I studied it and then I dropped out and then I started working and then boom, I've got my own business now. There's a huge disconnect, I think, with people when we think careers. We tend to think careers is then you study and get a job. It's very rare that we speak to young people that are saying, look, man, I went into the careers, my career is I studied and from what I studied, 
I worked a little bit and I took all of that and I put it into my business. Okay, it's uh, just 10 minutes after two. We're going to take a short break, a music break actually. When we come back, we go straight into the story of the day. Communications with the depth in branding. This is Lunch and Caps. Scott Loisy, 